Hi there. My name is Ben Hale, and I'm here to talk to you about Spring Boot 2.3's new Docker image creation functionality and how it works with Spring Boot DevTools. To demonstrate this, we're going to start by creating a new project. We're going to add two dependencies to that project. The first is Spring Boot DevTools, and the second is Spring Web. We'll go into that application, we'll add a new controller. And to that controller, we'll add a new endpoint. We'll go ahead and run that application. And then when we curl that endpoint, we see it says hello world. Because we're using dev tools, we can change that value, build the changes, and behind the scenes, dev tools is reloading the application without restarting the JVM and the JVM process. So now when we curl that endpoint, we see it say, hello universe. Starting in Spring Boot 2.3, we have this new functionality that will take your existing application and will build it into a Docker image that can be run anywhere using the CNCF Cloud Native Build Packs project. So to do that, we'll go ahead and run Maven Build Image. And this is going to compile and test your code, your unit tests. And then it's going to use cloud native build packs to do things like contribute a JVM or a command line, things like that, all into a Docker image, which you can then run anywhere you want. So we'll go ahead and stop the previous application and go ahead and do a Docker run. This time when we curl it, See, it says, hello universe. Go ahead and change that, rebuild. But we're not going to see the application reload itself. The good news is both DevTools and the Cloud Native Build Packs project are prepared for this kind of development situation. So we start by coming to resources. We need to add a secret. We'll also change our palm to embed dev tools in the created artifact. We'll go ahead and start that image building again. While that's building, we'll do the final step here. And that is to start running a remote spring application. This remote spring application is effectively a file watcher that notifies a running application that its files have changed. So we'll go ahead and run our application again. We'll start up the remote spring application. See what happens when we curl our endpoint here. It says hello world as we'd expect. We'll go ahead and change that and rebuild. And we see it reload the application and it's changed. Don't forget though that dev tools can be used for things that are more complex than just uh, changing strings. Say, for example, we wanted to say hello world to both the universe and the world. We might change things. We'll go ahead and do a rebuild. See the application reload, but not restart. Our original endpoint no longer works. 
now we can say hello to the universe and the world. Given this, you should be able to start thinking about new ways to use your development environment to ensure that the application you're actually developing and iterating on is running inside of the exact same environment it's going to run in during production. Thanks.